Hey guys, Megan. So now we're looking at finding roots, x-intercept, zeros, and solutions, and you might be thinking, why are there so many words for this? And even though many texts and tests use them interchangeably, they actually technically have different uses. So expressions have roots, equations have solutions. Um, so obviously we solve for x and we get x to be positive 3 and positive 5. Functions have zeros. So in f of x, when f is 0, or I'm sorry, um, when f of x is 0, then what are the values of x? And graphs have x-intercepts because it intersects the x-axis. Now, these are, I don't know, I think that they're very technical and, um, and nitpicky. And so you may see me um, and you may see your Algebra 2 teacher and you may see um, the exams that you take use these for pretty much the same things. So just be aware that all four of these mean the same thing depending on your interpretation style. Like if you're interpreting it in uh, expression, equation, function, or graph. So there's that. So what this could look like is when did the rocket hit the ground? That would be, you know, uh, so that would be a, an inverted parabola there. Um, and when would it hit the ground? When is the elevation of the rocket zero? How far away did the cat land? And so this may have been its starting point. It jumped and then it landed this far away. When did the submarine reach the surface of the water? And so this right here uh, may be the depth of the water that the submarine was, was at. How many products must be sold to break even? Um, again, this one is a little bit more Algebra 2-ish. That's really when you start using uh, business applications for quadratics. Right now, we're really just having fun with it. Okay, um, I'm not going to go into too much of an example here because this is the stuff that we've been working on for the last two weeks. And so all of these represent this equation here. And so if I factored uh, what two numbers multiply to be 15 and add up to be negative 8, I would get x minus 3 and x minus 5. And then remember, I would set each of those equal to 0. So to find the solutions, we would solve the equation. And so that would give us the zeros. This is usually given in a coordinate point format, uh, just like this one. OK, so um, that would be x equals negative 3, or I'm sorry, positive 3 and 5. And so the points that go with that are the uh, coordinates 3, 0, and 5, 0. And so those are coordinate locations on a graph. And since that's what we're really looking at, that is a, an accurate way to present this information. Um, so here we can see, again, using the same um, using the same parabola here, that we are correct. Okay, last little bit, and then I'll leave you be and set you on your way with SailCat. So finding the y-intercept. The y-intercept in a, in a quadratic, just like in a, uh, in a linear function, is where it hits the, where it hits the y-axis uh, when x equals 0. And usually that's time. So um, that's the, the y value when x is 0. And so maybe that's at time 0 the um the starting time because usually we're going to see this in terms of time okay so that was our constant value in the um in the linear functions and it's the same here it's the constant value when x is zero x squared is also zero and eight times x is also zero because eight or uh, zero times anything is zero so zero minus zero plus 15 
So when f, or we have f of 0 equals 15, because we plug it in here, plug it in there, and that's what we get. And so the questions may include, you know, how tall was the launch pad? If we're sending a rocket off, what was the initial height of the launch pad? Um, what was the height of the diving board if we're looking at a, um, a diver? And so this is going to be the C value in the equation um, AX squared plus BX plus C. So this is going to be our Y value. Okay. Alrighty. And we can look at that on the on the Desmos right here. The initial value is at 0, 015. And so that means at time zero, uh, it was 15 feet off the ground or whatever. All right, I'm going to get you started on your sail cat problems. You will have one a day for the next eight days, and that's lucky because that's all that I had prepared. So you guys have a great rest of the day, and we'll see you later.